Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles and I'm coming to you from sunny Cochabamba, Bolivia where it is spring but slash summer. It is so hot you can't even imagine. Anyway, this morning I went um, to the main city which is 20 kilometers away and I went to do other things, other errands. I didn't go to the area where the fabric markets are. I was in another like co commercial area. And I was walking around and I stumbled upon this like proper fabric store. So it's not those indoor markets you might have seen on my vlogs. I've shown you some things. This was like a proper shop with like ceramic shiny white floors and humongous measuring tables with lovely fabrics everywhere. I was in shock and I cannot believe I had never stumbled upon this shop before. Actually, I never walked around that street before. So... This was just a um, very fortunate encounter today with this shop. It's called La Casa Victoria, that means Victoria House, and I think it's very, very old. Outside it said established like in 1930-something, so it's a very, very old fabric shop. Um, yeah, the door's closed because there's a lot of wind outside, <laughs> just in case. There's no ghosts here. Um, the, the guys that work inside um, are just old men and they, they serve you so nicely, they're so kind and the best thing is that um, they're very knowledgeable on the fabric so they actually know what they, they call them fabric content and stuff like that. So I was just bewildered. <laughs> I was so happy. So I did film a little bit in there so you can see my reactions and um, I'll show you those little clips and then I'll be back. This is possibly my last shopping trip to the city for uh, fabric and stuff. I'm planning more trimmings, so I'll vlog what I can. It's taken me like an hour and a half to get here. I'm almost there. The public transport is just so slow. That's why it's hard for me to come here. I so I might just get one or two pieces of fabric, it's specific, but I'm mostly here for lining, bias tape, buttons, zippers. Like I'm in fabric heaven. Look at this. It's a new shop. I'd never seen it before and I am so excited. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is such a nice shop. They even have cutting tables. The best thing is that the salesman knows the names of the fabrics. So I'm going to get to know a few fabrics I have never touched before because he actually knows the names of them. I just found so much uh, scuba. I've never seen this. Uh, this is a new shop. I just found it. And, well, this isn't scuba. This is like an, a thick knit. He said, um, this is scuba. It's quite thick. Very thick. I don't think I like it. This is going to be one of the nicest fabric shops I've seen and it, I can't believe I've never seen this before. Look at all that print. Look at all this mm, print jersey fabric. I'm really liking that one. That green one is also calling to me. These cost $5 a meter. Look at this border print. This is um, a neat fabric, like lycra. So the top is black and then it ends with this. So I guess you can buy a panel and it's one meter. Enough for a dress. So I only filmed a couple seconds here and there. You know, vlogging is not a common thing that people do here. It's just very weird. They actually think you're spying on their shop. That's what they think. Um, so yeah, I just do it really, really quickly and then put my phone away. So I've been watching vlogs and I hear people name um, fabrics, scuba, ITY knee, whatever. I'm like, what the heck are those fab? Like, what are they? Like, I thought I never saw those fabrics in the fabric markets that I go to regularly, like those indoor markets where it's really messy and stuff. They, I've never ever seen those fabrics ever. So I go to this awesome shop and then um, there was another lady uh, talking to a salesman and he said, oh yeah, this is ITY and he actually pronounced it ITY. He like, my ears just boom. I'm like, what's ITY? What is it? I want to touch it. I want to know what it is. And um, so yeah, I've, I've worked with this before. I just didn't know that that was the name of this fabric. <laughs> so that was a bit silly.
<laughs> and then um, there was so much scuba, printed print scuba. And I've heard so many good things and then I went to touch it and I'm like, yeah, it's nice, but it's too thick. Like I would not be able to tolerate that with this weather. So yeah, I, I don't think I'm ever going to work with scuba. Um, but I'm glad I got to experience and feel what it was because it's just been so popular and everyone's like making things out of scuba and like, yeah, the, 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 the prints they had there were lovely and I touched it and I'm like, yeah, but it's a bit too thick for me. So yeah, I, I don't think, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm not going to work with that anytime soon. So I'm going to show you four, uh, pieces of fabric I got from there. Um, I'll show you uh, the, these he said it was like a, a crepe a stretch crepe sort of thing um, if, yeah it's very bright green with leaves and yellow and stuff very very bright I love it and I just got one meter because with one meter I can make like a sleeveless um, bodycon style dress and those are the ones that I mostly like to wear especially with um, stretch fabric and I, I really like this because it's quite thick and it's got um, it's got one way stretch but not that much so I think it will hold its shape really well for like darts and all that sort of stuff that I like to do so yeah just one way stretch for this one and I got the exact same type of fabric but in a different print and it's got a navy blue background with these huge flowers just huge you know humongous and one of the perks of being tall is that you can pull off really huge prints and it just doesn't make you look short or small or anything you know so yeah i really really like this one and also i got just a meter um these were like on the steeper i mean these were five dollars each a meter which might not seem like a lot, but for me, it's a lot. <laughs> then I got the t um, I got two ITY knits, and um, these were seven dollars a meter. So I got a meter of this one. Um, you might have seen a little clip. I did film this because I was just shocked at the beauty of this fabric. <laughs> so this is a border print, sort of like a border print, and. Um, black and it's got those uh, flowers in the middle sort of thing so I really like this I'm gonna make another like sleeveless dress where those flowers are gonna be like at that height on me which is fine so yeah this was seven dollars a meter and I got a meter I really like this so this is the famous ITY knit and I've definitely sewn with this before <laughs> and then the other one is um, I only got 60 centimeters because that's all I need to make a top and it's because the way that the print um, so look at this it's got these huge flowers so the selvages are at the bottom so if you look um, the fabric would be like that but you know it's meant to be worked on like this so I'm going to make a top out of this. I just love it. Just huge flowers. It's just, yeah. These are the types of things that you can make and wear and everyone's going to be like, oh, what's that? <laughs> you know? And then um, the last one I got, I got two meters of this. Um, I don't know. This is um, some sort of transparent thing with um, a bit of velvety things on it. Anyway. I'll, I'll stop uh, waffling and just show you. See, it's she, and it's black, and it's got on top of those um, like print details there, and these darker black things feel velvety, and so do these a little bit velvety. I don't know. I don't know, but I really, really, really like this, and I have no idea what I'm gonna make with that. Um, and I got a lot of uh, two meters, so I don't know. Who knows? I can definitely see like a kimono because I like making kimonos out of she fabric. Um, but you know, a kimono takes a meter and I've got two meters, so. Okay, then um, I went to the normal fabric markets. You know, I just went there to get um, trimmings and haberdashery stuff. I didn't get any fabric there this time because I already had nicer fabric from the other shop. <laughs> 
So I'm just going to show you some of the things I got. Um, I got this uh, really nice lace. It's very thick. I, I love it. This was like 130 a meter ish i got two meters and what i want to do with this i want to make myself some linen shorts and i want to put this at the bottom so this will be like on the bottom of the shorts on my legs just to make it look nicer <laughs> fancier <laughs> i don't know i thought i could do that i've never seen people wear shorts like that but that's the beauty of sewing because you can do whatever you want and I'm going to make some shorts. I already have them cut out and I needed elastic because I'm just making really nice comfy shorts. I'm boring elastic but needed. And um, I have a bag here with some yellow bias tape but I have those um, buttons, wooden, wooden buttons that are like flower shaped. I've bought these before. So 12 buttons cost about 80 cents. Yeah, I bought 24 because I'm, you know, planning on using them. And then I got this bag full of little buttons. Look at those cute little buttons, colorful ones. These are cheap, very cheap. I, I don't even know how cheap they are, but I needed these colors. Sorry, I was happily filming away and my battery died. <laughs> so now I've let it charge for a while. And the lighting might seem different because, yeah, it's all different now. It's like way over there, the sun. Anyway, I think I was talking about these threads. <laughs> <laughs> um, I usually buy these really bad quality Chinese threads that they sell everywhere and they break and they're just a pain to sew with and um, I found in the, in the markets in the city um, a place where they sell a Brazilian made thread so this is actually made in Brazil and um, it's a thousand yards 100% polyester very good quality so I bought um, I think I bought a black one before and I'm almost finishing it so now I bought navy black and a blue which are the colors that I use the most so I'm really happy I got those because it will make sewing much easier and then little bits and bobs colorful zippers and then all this bias tape satin bias tape this purple green brown and black before I leave I'm going to buy a roll a full roll of 50 meters of black navy uh, i'm gonna choose a few like colors that i use the most and i'm gonna take them with me because it's so cheap here you can buy a whole roll of 50 meters for five dollars so that is like what 10 cents a meter that is ridiculous right <laughs> so i'm gonna be sure to take lots of meters of satin bias tape with me because i'm sure the prices are not gonna be like that anywhere else so that is all. I've given myself a little bit of a headache um, with this trip. Always do. I always come back dizzy. Uh, it's a horrible thing, you know. I just get home, have a shower to freshen up my brain and stuff. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that was one of the last, if not the last trip I make to the city for fabric. I just cannot. I mean, I'm moving. I cannot keep buying anymore. So I say it's the last, um, it might be the last, I'm going to make, sh I'm going to try my best to make it the last one. <laughs> um, bye, more vlogs coming, so just keep checking on my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and that's it for now, bye, have fun.